All right, the outcomes for this one is I can use the angle angle theorem to determine similarities among a given set of triangles. Do that. We are in the module book, but we're also in our notebook, so you will need your notes and practice section. But I just want to let you know that this is going to correlate to lesson 10 of the module book, which is the informal proof of AA criterion for similarities. AA being angle, angle. Yeah, yeah, stop talking. All right, so first, we're gonna do, a, we're gonna do uh, a couple of things. In your module book, turn to page 53. On page 53, there is a box, a lesson summary at the top of the page. And it says that two triangles are said to be similar if they have two pairs of corresponding angles that are equal in measure. That's a lot of words. I don't know why math has to be so fancy. It's so fancy. All right, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to break this down for you. All right, so first of all, underline two triangles. Now, I want you to draw two right triangles right under there. And we want to talk about them being similar. So draw them two different sizes, but the same shape. Now, so now we have two triangles that are said to be similar. If they have two pairs of corresponding angles that are equal in measure, circle all of that right there. Two pairs of corresponding angles that are equal in measure. So here's what happens. You know, this is a right angle. These right angles are both 90 degrees. And I am going to tell you that the measure of this angle is the same as the measure of that angle and that they are both 30 degrees. Now, because I told you that those two angles are congruent and they're in the same location, we can conclude that these two triangles are similar. Now, what's going to happen is you're going to get the geometry and in geometry they have a lot of theorems. One of the theorems is called the angle-angle theorem. The angle-angle theorem says that if two pairs of angles or two triangles are the same, then those two triangles are similar. That's the angle-angle theorem. So then, all we have to do now is find corresponding parts of a triangle. And if the two angles that are in the same location, the two corresponding angles, like an A and an A prime, if they're the same measure, and then you look at B and B prime, they're the same. That's two pairs of angles that are the same. Therefore, we can say that these two are congruent. Sounds a little bit complicated, but it's really not. Watch. All right. Look on page 52 at the top. At the top of page 52, there's number three. And they want us to decide if these two triangles are similar. Look at angle A and angle A prime. Both of them are 31 degrees. Look at angle B and angle B prime, both of them are 103 degrees. That's two pairs of corresponding angles that are congruent. So we can conclude that they are indeed similar. Yes, they are similar. And if you want to get really complicated, you can say because there are two pairs of corresponding angles that are congruent. All right? Now, look at number four, and you decide. Now, if you said this, you are correct. The reason why is because while angle A for both of them are the same, angle B are different. And I went a little further and I, I checked angle C on the first triangle and it was 46 degrees. And I know that this angle C cannot be 46 degrees. But, you know, if I was to do the math, I would add 85 and 31. That's 116. And I know I need 180 degrees in this triangle. So if I add 46 to this, this 
is not 180 degrees, it's 162. So I know that that's not 46. So then I know that they're not similar. All right, look at number five. All right, what do you think? All right, we have one that says no. Well, look, if angle A is 72 and angle A is 72, I need to find out if this angle B is 60 or if this angle C is 48. So the first thing I did is I'm going to add 72 and 48. That's 0, carry your 1, 120, right? So then I do need 60, de 60 degrees more to get 180. So that one is 60, which means that angle C on the second one is 48. So while they don't look like it, they actually turned out to be similar. We had to write it in a little bit more. All right, so you are going to answer number one on the problem set, which is page 53. And you are also going to answer number four. Let's do one and four. And then come back and check your work. Here's what you should have for number one. And here's what you should have for number four. All right, that lesson is complete.